Yo, what up everybody? It's the Clansman Team Rufus playing a little bit of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Or Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. I got ahead of myself. Playing the original Marvel Ultimate Alliance on PlayStation 4 because I love this game so much and I'm so excited that they're finally bringing Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 to the Switch. Even though I kind of wish it was still on the PS4 because most of my friends do not have Switches. But, you know, whatever. I'll take what I can get at this point. Uh, but let's talk about the Avengers project. Or, I guess, now confirmed to be Marvel's Avengers. You know, original name. Um, I'm excited, you know. Uh, it's probably the only thing that's got me excited for E3 so far. Like, I'm, I'm pretty hype about it. It sounds like it's going to be... To me, it sounds like it's going to be a triple-A version of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And the fact that it's probably most likely going to be, at least on PS4, um, but most likely multi-plat. Um, hopefully, I can play with you know all my friends who are down for these um, co-op Marvel games. I'm really excited. I'm really, really hoping this game delivers. I know it has Square's tag behind it, but they're not developing the game, so... Uh, hopefully it, it doesn't disappoint like a lot of Square's titles lately have been. Um, at least for me. I don't know how you guys felt about some of the last games, but besides in the year, I'm not really, uh, <laughs> I haven't really been feeling Square's games. Um, other than that, though, you know, I'm really hyped, man. I, I want to know what you guys think. And, and uh, I want to go over some of the stuff that's been on, um, that people have been talking about and and what do you guys think. And because and, I'm really excited. Like, let's pull it up. Right here, so right here, and this is talking more about the gameplay, and that is this is the a defining Avengers gaming experience, an epic action adventure that combines cinematic storytelling with continuous single player and cooperative gameplay. And I'm so glad this game is going to be co-op because I did not have any real interest in a a single player game especially when the avengers name is behind it like i can't stand when video games come out about a team and it's one player like i, I still think all star Fox games should be at least two players co-op nowadays like they have five people on their team at all times that we're always confined to just using fox but but that's besides the point like i'm so glad this game's co-op like i i don't think it would have been a that great of a game on a single player but you know who knows uh hopefully we do get you know uh focus single player focus on one character game sooner sooner than later like i would love an iron man game uh just like you know the spider-man on ps4 um but i'm just glad this one is in particular co-op now a lot of people think for some reason where it says customize your heroes to fit your playstyle and combine powers to defend an ever expanding world under constant threat. Now, to me, this kind of sounds like they're going the Marvel Heroes route, where you can pick a, a character and just you know change his maybe his loadout, his move set, and you know play with other people who are also using their favorite characters. But a lot of people think this means you're gonna be able to create a character. Now. I'm, I'm kind of down for that, but I don't want another like DC UO or type game. And I also don't want like a Destiny type game. Uh, I, I want there it be its own thing. And um, I just, I don't know how it would work out if you could make your own character. I mean, I guess it could just be, it, it could still kind of be cool, but I don't know. I, I just don't like the sound of it for some reason. And maybe because of DCO and um, yeah, I might be biased because of that. <laughs> After putting a lot of time in DCO and Destiny and those games were really disappointing me later down the road. Uh, maybe that's why. But um, I kind of just wanted to be that AAA version of um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. So third person uh way better combat and co-op like i'd be happy with that um i don't want them doing too, it just sounds like they might be trying to do too much just like even like jump force where 
it did. You, you were able to create your own character, but on top you could play with all your favorite jump characters. It just seemed like it did a little bit too much. Too much fan service, I guess is the word. And I, I really want the gameplay to be on point. Like, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 lacked in gameplay and, and, and costumes and stuff. And to me, that's where, like, I don't know. Marvel games started lacking from there on out. Besides, I think the last good Marvel game besides Spider-Man PS4, but in the previous gens was, were like the X-Men Origin or Wolverine Origins uh, video game. And that was it, that focus was probably mostly on gameplay because it literally just retold the movie story. So I don't, I don't know. Like I don't want them doing too much, and in the game being kind of like a flop. <laughs> like I really want this game to be dope. We, we need. I feel like we deserve a, a dope Marvel game. You know what I'm saying? Especially with all Avengers and, and co-op. Like we, I feel like we deserve it, man. I feel like there needs to be way better co-op games out there in general. And hopefully this it just kind of feels that itch of being a dope co-op Marvel game. Um, but to move on from this, uh, let's talk about the story. Now, and this is just a rumor, but um, they're saying that, and I take this with a grain of salt, but I kind of believe it because it kind of fits, the story kind of fits well, a lot of the earlier leaks, like people were saying, like if y'all remember the original like trailer for it like the captain america's shield was like broken thor's hammer was broken iron man's glove was like just half destroyed and on the ground it, it's saying like the the avenger team is kind of has been dissembled for a while and it, i guess it starts with kamala khan miss marvel and i feel like marvel has been pushing this character in a lot of things lately i it might just be me but I feel like I see her everywhere and I barely know about her. I know she's an inhuman and I know she's part of the Champions team, which got a lot of love, it looked like. Uh, Champions team with Miles, Kid Cyclops, uh, Ironheart, and somebody else, some other people, but I don't remember everybody. I, I barely read those comics. Uh, but a lot of people loved them. They were a big part of, of the Civil War II storyline, I believe. And... If she is in it, it confirms, it should confirm inhuman characters in it. So we might not just get the Avengers that you, the classic Avengers that you know and love. Hopefully there'll be a bit more just than just the Avengers. Um, but it sounds like that's still where the main focus is. So I'll probably, I don't expect too many X-Men characters if at all. Maybe, you know, like Wolverine. And how these rights work with these games and movies, I... I don't. Even, we don't even know who they are allowed to have in the game, so I guess we'll see. I don't know where Kamala Khan. I think, I think the MC, I think Disney owns Kamala Khan technically, but I don't even think that works like that because I think the game rights are a little bit different than the movie rights. So I'm just gonna X all that together, just ignore what I said. But regardless, it should be dope. Uh, Kamala Khan should be dope. It says. She will act as the driving force for the game's narrative. And yeah, the Avengers have been disbanded for a while. And further down, it says how you will form teams with Iron Man, Ms. Marvel, and Hulk early in the game. Now, I imagine there's going to be at least four people you start with in the game since it's supposed to, supposed to be four players co op. And then this leak also said the game can be solo. Play with AIs using additional team members or co-op, and which makes sense, especially with the description they gave us earlier. And it, again, it sounds like a Marvel, a better Marvel Ultimate Alliance. From what it sounds like, I guess we'll see. Um, they also say that the the map will be more like Kingdom Hearts, I guess, where it would be multiple, large, multiple worlds. And on a single map, oh, large, hold on, let me actually read it, because I'm, like, getting ahead of myself. Featuring multiple large worlds rather than a single continuous map. So it won't be, like, a huge open world game. It'll be more like you select this world and kind of explore this type hub-like area. And the Crash Helicarrier, which is damn near always the fucking, 
um, meet up with in, in almost any Marvel game. It will be the main hub for the heroes, which should be, you know, dope, I guess. You know, everything. Shield's always usually behind something when everybody's meeting up. So, also, it says this game will not be like a looter shooter, where it'll focus on more of pro character skills and progression and like powers and, and skills other than gear, which makes more sense to me for the most part. Um, you know, a lot of these heroes, like, you look Drax in the background. He doesn't even have like gear, he runs around with two knives. <laughs> But in group, you know what I'm saying? Which it kind of makes sense. But, um, and I think this is probably be the best way to go. Like, it should just be, I would like just an action adventure game where I'm not really worried about fighting R&D on the best freaking gear. Like, I don't want your Spider-Man to be better than mine because you found a better helmet. Like, nah, I want to be better than mine because you either put more time in or you're just a better player than me. Guess, and it's a co-op game, so I guess it won't really matter. But still. <laughs> I feel like that fit more into the uh, Marvel Universe than anything. Than uh, Iron Man looking for gear. But regardless, it, it I'm pretty hyped about this game. And, and it should, hopefully, as long as the gameplay is really good and there's enough content. Because a lot of games these days have been lacking content. It, it, it should be dope. I'm really tired. I'm really hyped. I'm, I really want you guys to tell me what y'all thinking. Well, man, what do you guys want? Like, I'm pretty okay with just it being a fancier Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Like, in that's about it. Like, as long as I have that, I think I'll be fine. Like, I don't need anything fancy. I don't need a. I don't need you to try to be a Marvel version of Destiny. I don't need DC. Well, I like. I don't want to get. I just want a really dope game that I can play with my friends and play with my favorite characters and have a dope time, yo. I, I feel like that's where a lot of these games mess up and they try to be a little bit too ambiguous. And let's just, you know, let's just make a good game. It's like, give me a good gameplay and. And some good content and getting stuff that's replayable and, and enjoyable and that's fun doing over and over again with my friends like let's not get too complicated um but yeah again super hype uh marvel ultimate alliance 3 i believe comes out next month i'll be definitely getting that uh so you guys hit me up if y'all plan on playing that i'll send you guys my uh <laughs> my nintendo switch name and um uh, We'll be looking, I'll be looking next week. We should get details for um, Marvel's Avengers. So definitely looking forward to that. And I'll probably be making a video about that too, to talk about it and tell you guys what I think of that. Hopefully, again, it does not disappoint. And hopefully we get gameplay. Uh, I'm going to be a little disappointed if we don't get any gameplay, especially after they announced it, what, two years ago? And we're still not going to get gameplay? I'd be a little tight. But uh, it is what it is. You guys be safe out there. Um, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video.